Hey guys and welcome back to a brand new video. Welcome back to episode 2 of the Club America Career Mode video and very excited to bring you guys back another episode. As you guys can see, we're on to the playoff of this uh, preseason tournament and you guys can see right there we finished off top of our group and so did New England and San Jose Earthquake in respects to their group. And so today we'll be playing San Jose Earthquakes. Uh, you guys can see the lineup I'm going with, giving a couple players a little bit more of an opportunity, uh, the likes of Guemes to improve, impress me, as well as William da Silva. Because lately I, I feel like William da Silva has been a, actually a pretty good, decent player. So let's see if he continue his run of form. And as you guys can see right there, uh, walking up into the pitch, Moy Munoz getting ready. Hopefully he can have a pretty big game for us. We gave him game time in that simulation match, but we haven't really played with him and assessed how well he could really truly be for us. And so we start kickoff right away um, into the first minute of the match. Uh, we're going to see a little bit of movement here. We're going to try to really contain much of the pressure from San Jose. As you can see right there, Hiburon gets knocked out and Moinos comes out and really, really does well. But it's getting a little difficult for us to really try to find and clear that. But William Silva does great. And uh, we try to uh, release some, some of the tension right there. We're going to move on here. Tenth minute of the match. Uh, we were playing very, very decent football right here. I really enjoyed the way we were passing the ball. Uh, we just had a lot of fluidity. Uh, the time we really, really look at that nice little flick pass. And Chippa Guerrero is going to take this shot. And the goalkeeper doing very, very well to parry that ball away. And we're going to get a corner here. And with this new corner system, I'm trying to lob it right there into this open space. Can anyone get there? And yes, William the Silva gets there. And ladies and gentlemen, that's 1-0 to us. And the semi-final of the North American All-Star Trophy. Uh, we take the lead. We take the lead. And I'm very, very, very happy that we were able to do that. William De Silva getting high up in the air. Header. Something you wouldn't expect from this player. But the Brazilian does ever so well to keep impressing us. And he's had a pretty decent good preseason tournament. So I'm very, very happy to see him being able to perform in the likes of this. And who knows? Maybe if he can continue this run of form, he can, uh, he can stay with us in... Uh, in, in the rest of the season, you know, we know the likes of La Volpe really liking him, so using him as a wide player, and you know, maybe if we ever get injuries, you see you guys right here, Moy Munoz doing ever so well, two shots, first one he didn't parry that much away, but the second one he did ever so well to recover, so maybe William De Silva could be a really good player for us. So we're going to move on here, 30th minute of the match, we're going to give it off to Diego Pineda, Diego Pineda going to play it off to Oribe Peralta, Oribe Peralta is going to get a foul, and we're in very very dangerous territory for our captain to take this shot, Ruben Sambuesa, I'm going to try to line this up as much as possible, um, I don't know if you guys saw, uh, you guys obviously did see right there, that uh, Diego Pineda was in the lineup, um, <clears throat> a very very good young player a very good canterano i feel like he can be someone in the future that we can definitely build on i i really enjoy playing with him you know even though he has low stats he plays like a very very good player and hopefully we can we can really get him to be a really really good player as you can see Diego Pineda give it off to Ruben Sambuesa we have a very very good opportunity to come in and counter attack and then the shot and uh, the cross was uh, was good although the defender was there to be able to take it away and then we're going to get another corner here we're going to try to put it into the open space again can we get anything going from here Ruben Sambuesa is going to get it and then Aguilar oof, gets up gets high but the goalkeeper does so so good and uh, he's able to catch well, that. And uh, just like that, the uh, referee blows the whistle and it is half time. So we're going to move on here. Second half, 53rd minute of the match. Quintero's going to be bursting down that flank. A very good player, by the way. Uh, tries to get it off into the, into the box. Unable to do so. We clear it a little bit. Uh, a little bit of a hazy clearance right there from us, and it's uh, it's still San Jose Earthquake. He takes a shot, and it just goes ever so wide. So now we're gonna move on. 56 minutes of the match. Really enjoying the way we were playing right here. Diego Pineda handing it off to Chepe Guerrero. Now what can he do? Finds Guemes. Guemes. This slow build-up of play really, really works out for me, especially when we're trying to play with these players like this and then Diego Pineda breaks so well through tucks it into the bottom corner and ladies and gentlemen that's 2-0 our Canterano coming up pretty big right there scoring a wonderful wonderful goal and uh, he, he could be the future 
of our attacking lineup. So very, very happy for him. And um, yeah, uh, we're going to try to develop a lot of youth in this series as well. Of course, we're going to have to try to push that towards the later half of the season. Of course, right now we're just trying to get uh, that big transfer money move for America, the big bomba signing, really reinforcing what the Centenario could mean. But I think it's very important that we, we start off with our base, with our roots, and really just try to... Just really try to cement that foundation that homegrown players are important. We do have a lot of um, extranjeros in the in the squad and in the lineup. Something that I practically don't really like the fact that America has um, very little young Mexican talent. So we're gonna try to assess that in the transfer window. Try to get us a couple of good um, young Mexican players and as well as try to develop in our own youth academy uh, very very good players that can later come on in following seasons and really be a, a big factor for us so we're gonna move on and we're almost gonna score a goal right here great last ditch tackle by the defender pushing it out for a corner and uh, we're again gonna try to get that ball into that open space and then Guem is gonna hit it right there but uh, <laughs> that diving tack, uh, diving header wasn't good enough to get that. But it did seem like it got deflected. So we got another opportunity here. 80th win of the match. And we go Paolo Gotz. Gives it off to Bruno Valdez. Who's going to try to play it off to Guemes. Who loses the ball. And then, then, then Chino Romero plays it out wide to Quintero. Quintero's going to play it out wide to Arroyo. Arroyo. And then, oof. Another great opportunity for us to get there. But... The defender does ever so well to clear that. And again, we got another corner. This is, uh, this is getting repetitive now. But then we're going to see right here. Guemes with the header. Unable to get there. Mike Arroyo crosses it back in. Quintero unable to get there. Arroyo again. Can he get something going here? He takes the shot. And again, another corner. So uh, back to back to back corners. And hopefully hopefully the third one is La Vencida. We take another corner. Take another header. And the ball is out. And nothing came off that. So, very unfortunate. Very, very uh, unlucky, I guess you could say. But it was a pretty good all-round performance from us. We're, we're coming out in here to the 90th win of the match. Just a couple more seconds to play. Chino Romero is going to try to play it off to Caintero. Unable to do so. But we do leave the match with a 2-0 victory, which does guarantee us a spot in the final to play against... I uh, guess you guys will see right now, but it was a very, very good performance by us. Seven shots, five on target. Uh, we had a very, very good passing rank. I was very happy with the boys. The boys were playing ever so well. So we're going to move on forward here. Um, as you guys can see right there, the transfer for Ron Van Persie was unacceptable. So you know what? I said, I'm going to throw one more mill on, and hopefully that's more than enough for you guys. I am already breaking the bank as it is right now, but I'm trying to do ever so well to really bring that big name striker that could really give a competition up there. And then we get a transfer offer for Osmar Mares. Um, Osandro Laguna is looking to buy him back. I said, you know what? Give me... Eight, eight thousand, eight hundred and three thirty thousand. Excuse me for that. And um, let's see if they come back and they say yes. Falcao again denying his wages and his contract. So again, I'm here trying to look and really, really bring this guy because you know he would fit so well into our system. He knows he knows Spanish, so that's always helpful. And and he he kind of knows how to play that league in this in the sense that it's a rhythm of waiting, passing. It's not really much sprinting up and down. So hopefully we can get uh, we can get Falcao in, if not someone else. And then uh, we get a transfer offer here for that one Quintero. But you know what I say? No, he's very very crucial and vital to me this season. So then we're gonna move and Didas coming back and saying you know what here's 4.7 i say no you won't go to, it's 5.2 or nothing so hopefully they come back and and say yes so and then we get a big big transfer at, except from sporting this but the left back jefferson uh the 28 year old uh 77 rated i feel like he would be a great addition to the squad so i'm offering him this hopefully he comes back and says yes but before we get into that let's go and play the final of this North American All-Star Trophy. Hopefully we can bank ourselves a win, which would mean that we would get uh, 
quite a pretty good uh, money for winning this tournament, which would be also great because, as you guys know, uh, every penny counts in this tournament, in this in this career mode, excuse me. So, um, as you can see right there, very nice little touch. Uh, our flag, their flag in the revolution, as you can see right there, they beat Columbus 0-3-0. And uh, as you guys saw, Previously, we won San Jose Earthquake 2-0. As you can see, there's their start, starting lineup. Uh, of course, their danger man, Kamara, always going to be uh, very, very important that we mark him very well. He's got bags of goals in him, so you got to be careful with that. As you can see right there, Mike Arroyo, uh, who is playing in the lineup today. I decided to keep that ro heavy rotation going before we get into that. Uh, before we get into that final. Uh, that final third before we get into the the, the actual season, and um, as you can see right there, Quintero up top with Romero, and hopefully that partnership can flourish. So then we're gonna kick off right here, first couple minutes of the match. Hopefully America can do ever so well under our uh, under our wing in order to really see them progress and really win this tournament because it's important for us to get something going. And uh, we're gonna start off here fifth minute of the match, dangerous, dangerous. Uh, a free kick from them, but uh, their 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 header goes straight into the hands of Moy Munoz. And then another shot, and then another great save by Moy, put pairing it off to the corner, and now they have a more dangerous opportunity here. But Moy does ever so well to get up and clench that ball. Yes, and then we're gonna play it off right here, and then Moy mistakenly gives the pass away, but it was a great last ditch tackle by the defender. So very very happy with the defending so far. For now. And then we're going to move on. Renato Ibarra, who has really impressed me so far this preseason. He has been up and down the pitch like crazy. He's got bags of speed. And he's got legs for days. And it's just really, really great to see a player that can do ever so well like that. And then another corner here. We're going to get a header up. And look at that goal. Doesn't get better than that on a corner set piece delivery paolo goats's header i just want to see you guys see exactly where the header was placed at unbelievable look at that right in the near post where the defender was there he wasn't able to get there on time because the ball was perfectly perfectly colocada so wow what a great goal i was livid excited um just really, really happy. So we had the 1-0 lead victory. Then we're going to see right here. We got somebody who's going to try to play it off to Chino Romero. And the goalkeeper doing very, very well to pair that ball away. And now we got a corner. Can we make things happen? We got somebody who's going to header it. No. Nope. Takes a shot. And rebounds. And I don't know what happened there. Defender tries to clear. Goalkeeper tries to parry it. But he, when he does that, he puts it in the back of the net as you can see right there look at that i guess it's a glitch from the game i don't know exactly what happened but look at that look at that we get an own goal i won't complain it's a 2-0 lead that we have before going into the uh, before we go into second half and ec ecstatic really ecstatic because we're winning the final we are winning the final but you know New England Revolution isn't going to back down. They know this is a final. And they know this is a very good opportunity right here. And uh, Kamara almost, almost gets something going. But Moy Munoz again looking like a very, very strong performance from him again. In the last game, he had a very good performance. Coming up with some pretty big saves. Trying to get that clean sheet, as you guys know. Very, very important for a goalkeeper to do so. Just a boost in confidence. And then look right here. We got an opportunity with Renato Ibarra. Can he put it in the back? No, he can't. It's a great save by the goalkeeper. Barely, barely gets it with his toes. And it's a missed opportunity by us. So hopefully we can get more. Let him just bag those into the back of the net. And then look what a great, great ball from Romero to Quintero. And he slots it away in that bottom corner. 3-0 to us. What a performance so far by us already into the second half. We got a 3-0 lead. And now it looks like there's no way coming back for New England Revolutions. And it looks like the Liga MX team is going to take the North American All-Star Trophy. So far, so good in the right directions. Let's keep it going. All right. So New England Revolution takes the ball again. What can they do? Can they splurge a comeback? Can they get a goal? We'll have to wait and see. Another dangerous free kick. 
Can they get a header on into it? No, nope. we get there first. Quintero was never going to win that. Too short. And again, poor clearances by us. We really need to start just hoofing the ball up, you know. Because look at that. It was very, very dangerous. But Moy doing very well to keep the ball, keep the calmness, and really just slow down the tempo of the game. And then right there, poor, poor, poor defending by me. And then we get another opportunity for New England to get something. And it's another great save by Moy Munoz. What a performance he's had so far. I would say that he's the candidate to be man of the match for this game. So very, very good performance. And I'm always excited to see our players putting in a very, very good work ethic. And then we got Will and Silva here giving it off to Rio Parata, who's going to try to take a shot right there. But he, he you know. Gets deflected. We're on to the corner. Last couple seconds of the match. Can we just get another one before going into the end of the game and lifting that trophy up? Because there's no way back for them now. There's another cross in. Goalkeeper does serve it so well. Can we get anything going here? And nope. Then can we get something splurging on, on here? William Da Silva. Can he get another cross in? Can we get another goal in? Looks like a pretty good ball. Quintero's unable to get there. And the referee blows the end of the whistle. And that does mean America is crowned champions of the North American All-Star Trophy. What a performance by us. Great, great performance, especially by that man right there. Paolo Goltz doing ever so well. Will we sell into Tigres? You know, we will miss him if, uh, if that case comes. And if it does happen, I, I have read a couple of you guys who said that we should probably sign Cesar Montes from Monterrey. We're going to try to look into that. Um, not this episode, but maybe the next one. So, as you guys can see right there, we're about to lift the trophy. And there it is. America champions of the North American All-Star Trophy. Very happy for the boys. They worked ever so hard. And they deserve that trophy. They deserve it very well. We were the key. We, we were the best team. And so, it was great to see them lift that trophy up. And we get a purchase from Redding wanting to get Puma Pimentel. I said, you know what, give me a little bit more, and he's all yours. And then we get some great news. Pachuca has accepted for Rodolfo Pizarro. One of my favorite players, I would say, right now in the Liga MX. He is by far in the top three of best center mid in the league. He is absolutely a monster in midfield, just dominating play dictating the channels and I feel like he would be a great addition to the squad and then they say Fenerbahce say yes to Robin Van Persie so it's a good it's a good way for us to be like okay maybe we can get either Robin Van Persie or Falcao we don't have enough cash for the both of them but we'll have to wait and see and then I said you know what let's go in for Mauro Diaz maybe you know an addition of him would be amazing and then I said you know what let's look at Juan Fernando Quintero someone who was heavily linked to America um because of what happened to Quintero. Let's see if we can bring him in. And then I said, you know what? There's another player that I really would like to bring in. His name, Derlis Gonzalez, right mid, right mid player, uh, 22 years old, Paraguayan. So he had that great link up with Osvaldito Martinez. So I, I chucked 8 million for the both of them. And let's see what the, their clubs respectively come back and say to us, hopefully with good news. Um, and talking about good news, we got Santos Laguna who say yes to Osmar Mares. But then we get a couple of bad news. Both Jefferson and Falcao say no. I love living here. Blah, blah, blah. They want more money. So we're going to try to chuck a little bit more money their way. Hopefully Falcao accepts. Hopefully he says yes. He would be a great addition. Will El Tigre come to Las Aguilas de la América? And Jefferson, again, you know what we said? All right. We're going to offer you 332. 32 should be more than enough for you. And hopefully he accepts because he would be a great addition to the squad. Just 77 rated left back position. Our weakest position yet. And so we'll have to wait and see. Uh, Porto said no uh, with 8 million. But Sporting Gijon said yes. We will gladly take the 8 million. I don't know if I'm overpaying for him or not. But hopefully he comes back and says yes. Because let's face it. We need a little bit more depth in the right mid position because although I can play Quintero or Ruben Sambuesa there, I really only have Renato Ibarra. Um, I really want to keep Sambuesa either on the left or in the center of the midfield. And I really would like to keep Quintero up top because his pace is absolutely phenomenal. So as you can see right there, Tigre is coming back saying, no, we're going to pay you four. I was like, no, you got to pay me 5.2. And if not, there's no deal. And then we get another counter offer here for Ready. And I said, you know what? Just give me just a little bit more. Just a little bit more. That's all I ask. And then, of course, Robin Van Persie declines. And now I'm here saying, okay, look, I'll offer him exactly what I offered Falcao. And hopefully with that, 
it's enough incentive to bring him over here. 20% bo uh, bonus for the goal and two year contract. So hopefully he comes back and says something good. We're gonna advance here. I'm gonna wait and we're gonna see. And as you can see right there, good news because Rodolfo Pizarro has accepted Falcao, of course, declining. Very, very frustrated about that. But guys, we have our first signing, Rodolfo Pizarro. What a player, young, very exciting, and a player that can hold off the midfield, and a player that can really, really just push us forward. So I'm very excited that we were able to bring him. And you know, he might, you know, with other signings, he might just tuck away and he might be like, hey, you know, who is this guy? But you know, he will definitely be a very important player. I just know it. And then another great news, Jefferson accepts. So now we got two signings, look at that. Things are coming up Millhouse. And again, Delis Gonzalez saying no to us. Falcao also said no to us. I don't know if you guys saw right there. And uh, now, got to offer just a little bit more to this kid. Hopefully, he comes and say yes. Crucial first team player. Player four years. He'd be a great addition to the squad. Someone we could look to in the long term. And then, look at this. Robin Van Persie has accepted. And will we be getting him? Right now, I'm going to just put him on stall, wait to see what Falcao says, because Falcao has gotten me frustrated to the point where I'm just like, you know what, I'm going to stall you for right now, and we're going to wait to see exactly who Falcao is going to say. And will Falcao say yes or no? And Falcao has declined. So, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to go with Robin Van Persie, and for the Centenario, our big striker, our big bunny move, is going to be none other than the Dutchman. Robin Van Persie, ex Arsenal, Man United, and Fenerbahce. Welcome to the team. I'm gonna set him up. I'm gonna set the squad a little bit up as you can see right there. I'll show you guys in the next video exactly what uh, kind of tweaks I'm using, what kind of formation I'm still keeping, and exactly who is in my starting 11. And as you can see right there, our first game of the season is gonna be versus Chivas. So, pretty big. So, I'm gonna, gonna show you guys the transfer budget just all the way to the wages wise. We don't have really much to work with so far, although we are going to sell gold, as you saw right there. Tigres came back and said, yes, we are going to sell Osmar Oh, well, we sold Osmar Mares already. And Puma and Pimentel is also going to sell. So we're going to have to wait and see exactly if we can get everything going in the right direction. But I'm excited because Robin Van Persie is in the squad. I'm going to tell you, to you guys straight, he was really the one person I really wanted. I feel like he will adapt and really put the league on fire but we're coming to an end as you can see right there our first game of next week is going to be against guadalajara our eternal rivals can we get three points we have pretty big names hopefully hopefully they can help us get those three points but we're coming to an end guys please like subscribe and let me know in the comments down below are you happy about van percy until next time take care